While the Medford Police Livability team says it's seeing a decline in illegal encampments, Rogue Retreat is seeing its low barrier shelters continuously full. NBC 5's Lauren Preto has more on how a collaborative effort is helping people get off the streets. We want to make getting help as easy as possible. According to the Medford Police Livability team, illegal encampments in the city are on a decline. Its September 25th survey recorded 11 illegal homeless encampments. Last year's September survey recorded 56 encampments. Of the 11 illegal encampments, it says six were on city property, three were on private land, and two were on property managed by the Oregon Department of Transportation. MPD Lieutenant Rebecca Piedla says while law enforcement action is sometimes necessary, it won't prevent them from getting people the help they need. So if we contact folks who are camping illegally, um, A, we educate them on, on how they can be camping illegally or sleeping legally within the city, um, but also we'll take enforcement action. And we continue that connection through one of our community service officers who helps reach those folks while they're incarcerated to connect them with resources. Piedela says the livability team has grown over the last five years. With a team of 12 doing outreach twice a week, she says they're directing people to their community partners consistently. We get folks into shelter all the time, every week, um, and a lot of that happens through Road Retreat. Uh, so we have a really good partnership with the Kelly Shelter as well as the Crossing. So we have, you know, the the number on speed dial to connect with those resources to get folks if they're if they have availability to get them housed day of. Road Retreat's executive director Sam Angle says they're serving around 200 people in their low barrier programs any given night. And with their own outreach collaborating with the livability team, they can build up trust with unhoused residents. It's surprising how much just having a place to be gives them the, the willingness to want to grow and want to change things. For Rogue Retreat and the livability team, the goal is to find the best way to help these people reclaim their own lives while also making sure everyone is staying safe. We've got more people in our low barrier shelters now who have enough time and sobriety that they're eligible for the next step. They're understanding that we're a resource, um, that we've got, again, kind of direct lines to a lot of other community partners, and we can connect those dots sometimes a lot easier and quicker um, than, than a citizen could do. In Medford, Lauren Preto, NBC5 News. You can find links for more on the Medford Police Department's livability team and rogue retreat on our website.